Hey, what's up guys? It's JC and I'm bringing a new video for you guys. It's about your Switch. So, um, it basically has to do with making that connection between your Switch and your TFTP server. Uh, I had a really hard time in the beginning, but I figured it out after three painful days. I did a bunch of research and I want to make it as easy as possible for you because it is important that you learn how to back up your Switch, how to upgrade that software, um, Sometimes you have to configure the settings in your firewall, um, create these inbound rules to allow that TFTP server to make that connection to your device. Um, so here it is. So on the back of the switch, you'll be able to find the label. Uh, this is the product ID number. Uh, that's where you'll find that label and you'll see the product name. It's a Cisco 2960S. We'll enter that in Google. Uh, on the top results, you'll be able to see your device. Just click on any of the first two, I believe. Then we head over into the downloads, the software download center. Now we have a whole bunch of devices because they do release multiple models of the switches of the devices. Uh, you just have to find the right one. So here we have it. We have multiple different versions of that software. I would jump on Reddit or maybe some of the Cisco forums and see what that particular version of the software you are deciding to download. Uh, it, you can possibly get some bugs uh, depending on your intended setup of your home lab. So I would just jump on any of those uh, sites and see what's going on with that software version. Uh, like, as you saw, there was a um, a short form that you do have to go through it's 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 fast it's nothing crazy uh, just go through it download your software and start up your TFTP server now that you have your uh, switch already reset uh, we just have to start up that server so we can do that upgrade you see here I'm just reconfirming the COM port if you didn't catch my last video on the switch reset here you'll see in the device manager how to find your COM port. Uh, whenever you do plug in that console cable into your switch and to your computer, you'll see uh, the COM port pop up in device manager. If you don't, you just hit action and scan for hardware changes. So uh, we see our switch is reloading. Just give it a few minutes, it might take a while. So while that switch is loading up, let's head over to that TFTP folder that we have in the Windows C drive. Uh, the program should create its own folder in the Windows C drive. So what we'll do is move our software that we just downloaded from the Cisco website into that folder. That's how the TFTP server will be able to update our switch. So here you'll just have to select your IP address. You would find that in the command terminal by using the IP config slash all. Uh, you should find your IP address within that drop down menu. That will allow the connection to be made with your TFTP server.
So now right under the browse button, there's a show directory. You'll be able to find all the files that are in that TFTP folder. I just hit the copy and we're just copying so we can use that file name in the command that we would be inputting into the PuTTY terminal. So in the server interfaces, you'll see the, well, you'll find the TFTP server IP address. You'll be using this in the command that you'll be inputting into the PuTTY terminal. So the command is as follows, copy space TFTP colon slash slash the IP address of the TFTP server, which you find in the server interface slash iOS update file name and then space and flash colon. This will allow you to pull the, the update file from the TFTP server. So I did have a few issues connecting to the TFTP server from the switch um, and I did have to do some troubleshooting. I wanted to leave it up for you guys just in case you guys did have the same issues. It did have to do with the server itself. It is an insecure connection so you have to allow it from the Windows firewall. So I did create a rule that allows connection from port 69 because TFTP operates on port 69. So just do as follows on your Windows computer and you'll be able to allow that port to make that connection to uh, your TFTP server and put it. So here I turned off the firewall. Uh, it's not recommended to leave it off, but you can turn it off just for this instance, you know, just to make sure that it works perfectly and everything runs smoothly until the upgrade is done, this is, which is what I did. Now, after all that, the Windows firewall is off. You made the rule. Now you can input that command again by hitting the up arrows or the down arrow, whichever one uh, allows you to do so. And you'll be able to input the command of uh, the copy command to access that file from your TFTP server. So it does take some time for it to upgrade. So I say, whatever it is you do, go do it maybe some labbing, read a book, you know, it takes a few minutes. Just give it its time and it will do what it has to do for you, okay? So here we can see that we have both iOS files in the flash and we can boot 
from the iOS version 15. So I'll show you that command now. So the correct command is boot space system space flash colon and the iOS file name you want to boot to or you want your device to boot to. There's probably a better way to do it, but this is the way that I've, I've made it work. So I'm sharing it with you guys and I wanted to spread that knowledge with you guys. So if there's another way, a better way, then feel, feel free to share it in the comment section and you know, you might help somebody else or make my life easier next time I do upgrade the switch or upgrade my router, you know. So we've reached the end of the video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm closing down the session now. Everything's upgraded. It's booting from iOS version 15. I'm sure you'll be able to do the same. I don't think it gets any easier than this, but if it does, like I said, comment down below and make sure you let the world know how much easier you can make this happen for everybody else. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll be posting a little more frequently uh, now that things are starting to kind of slow down over here at work and in general. Um, I am still studying for my CCNA and other certifications, so pay attention to that content that will soon be uploaded to the channel. I also have a new blog that you guys can go over and visit. I'll leave the link down below in the comment sec in the down below, you know, where you usually find all them links there. Uh, just head over to my blog, try to comment something, maybe something that you'd like to see. So, you know, comment and let me know. I'll try to post about that if I know anything, you know, uh, if I if I don't then I probably won't, but I'll try. So go over there, comment on my blog, share with your friends and family, other people in IT, all that good stuff. So peace out.